All right, so I'm over at Christian's house today and we are taking this apart in the background here, which is the engine that actually came in this little guy. So there's a turbo Baja with no engine in it. I'll go show you the engine bay. No engine, because the engine is over here half apart. Did the rebuilding of the engine and the car was his wife's brother's and he really wanted to save it so um, they they worked together you can do your oil it is, yeah just you know take the whole engine out and, and get to the uh, oil filter up here Let's see if these tins like shred when I try to take them off a very well might <laughs> in advance if you get too close I ran out of clean working on cars shirts <laughs> so this one's uh, so good the UPMC ones this one's seen, seen some use <laughs> it smells like it does yes. we're off oh, a gasket that is from something oh, it came off with the bottom here yeah yeah you don't replace those Just put back on before I lose it and this was one different nut, so I'm gonna put it back so they don't lose it. Water pump, nice. You got a new thermostat too? Yeah, whatever oh, it came uh, with. Yeah. This is probably the water pump. Oh no, this is the water yeah, pump. The water pump is the... So this is just a, this just is another a hog idler. idler. Yeah. Let's see. Which at least they're spinning freely. <laughs> they should be with only, what, 40,000 miles on them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they put those aftermarket ones in there. Oh, that's... I don't, I don't do that. I don't, I don't, I don't do that, that at all. No. That's, it's I made to run at a certain <laughs> point here. Don't fuck with it. Yep. Yeah, it's not actually going to increase the cooling capacity at all. It yeah. just... That's what I used to think. It just changes the te temperature at which yeah. you get in there. Of course, he probably replaced that last time he was in here at 40,000 miles, but... I don't care. It's not that expensive. Oh, of course, now I have to take that idler back off because I'm stupid. Oh. And that one because I'm stupid. Well, that's, part of, that's yeah, part of the tension. That's part of the tension. But I'm still going to have to take that one off. Yeah. Now let's see how it comes off. Yeah, that came off a little better. Come on. Yeah.
pin. Thank you, God. Looks like there's multiple holes for it to fit into. Great. Oh, so there's a pattern in there. I, yeah. can, I can get that. They've thought of everything. Well, I just didn't, I never understood why Volvo fucking didn't. Like, <laughs> I was so furious. I'm like, why is it this way? This is so fucking stupid. Yeah, these definitely don't have even torque. Could be why the head gasket blew. True. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right there. That's where it blew. See yep. all the black stuff's gone? Yep. That'll do it. But not oil. Oil. And so it was an internal leak. Yeah. Obviously, and that's why we're doing this. So I'm trying to, yeah, that's the oil galley. So you can yeah. see the oil galley does not have, it still has gas material around it. Yeah. So that's why the engine's not trash, because it didn't get, you don't get, you didn't get coolant into the oil. Yeah. But clearly it was getting out of the piston. Yep. And getting into the cooling jacket right there. That might be the only place that this entire engine where it failed. Potentially. We'll find out on the other side. But, but if you get thing certainly, <laughs> certainly that piston. This one looks like it was on its way. It's going, yeah. This is actually the same problem that the um, the Fords are having. The Ford RS. Oh, the RSs, yeah. Yeah, so what happens is these, they have an open deck block like this too, but basically as the pistons come up and down, everything kind of rings and vibrates and everything mm -hmm. like that. And this stuff is elastomer, and it's a wearing away at the elastomer, just like this one did. Yep. And blowing head gaskets. Yep. Good stuff. <laughs> Not really. Not really, no. You know, uh, 10, not not fun shit. 10,000 mile uh, Ford Focus RS that you probably paid a premium for from to the get, dealership. Yeah. Well gone. <laughs> oh yeah, it's toast. toast. Totally toast. Oh man, both of them. Mm -hmm. Yikes. So three out of four cylinders. Yeah. <laughs> There's the clutch at 40,000 miles too, but... A lot of heat distortion in there. Yeah, it's all blued. It must have burned it somewhere. They got this like shredding out on the edges here. Yep. Looks like it started to come apart a little bit. I'm glad I bought a replacement. Well, if you have it all out. Yeah, it was gonna be cheap. By the way.